from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 20th, 2022. The United Nations General Assembly approved an Israeli-sponsored resolution to combat Holocaust denial. This marks the second time only since Israel's establishment that a resolution submitted by Israel has been adopted by the GA. The first was in 2005, declaring January 27th as International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, had introduced the resolution today, which aims to establish the IHRA, the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of Holocaust denial, as the global standard. To encourage governments and social media companies to do more to counter Holocaust denial and develop educational programs through the UN to counter Holocaust denial and distortion. Yesterday, Erdogan addressed the UN Security Council on the Middle East, where he spoke about rock throwing attacks and about the talks happening with Iran in Vienna. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Linda Thomas-Greenfield addressed the Security Council yesterday on the Middle East as well, reaffirming, she said, the U.S.'s strong support for a two-state solution, also speaking of the anti-Israel bias at the body, saying, And as I've noted before, I look forward to the day when we do not find the need to single out Israel for this type of unfair focus in this council. She also noted the approaching International Holocaust Remembrance Day, recalling her visit to Yad Vashem with Ambassador Erdogan this past November. Remembering and honoring the victims of the Holocaust means more than reflection. It means taking actions. This is especially true as anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial are on the rise. The harrowing events in Colleyville, Texas this past weekend brought this home for us Americans. It reminds us that we all must work together to stand against anti-Semitism and extremism. The United States will continue to champion justice for victims of anti-Semitism and for Holocaust survivors and their descendants. We are committed to building a world where the lessons of the Holocaust are taught universally where survivors live out their days in dignity and comfort, and while all, where all humans' lives are shown decency and compassion. For the first time in many years, all members of this council have diplomatic relations with the state of Israel. This is a testament to the important shifts underway in the Middle East and indicative of Israel's contribution on the world stage. The Security Council has five permanent members, China, France, the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom and the United States, and 10 non-permanent members elected for two-year terms by the General Assembly. They are currently Albania, Brazil, Gabon, Ghana, India, Ireland, Kenya, Mexico, Norway, and the United Arab Emirates. Well, the Jewish Book Council announced its winners of the National Jewish Book Awards this year. They include, for Jewish Book of the Year, Devorah HaKohen's book, To Repair a Broken World, The Life of Henrietta Zold, founder of Hadassah, which also won in the category of biography. And Jai Chakrabarty won the council's debut fiction prize for his novel, A Play for the End of the World, a story of lifelong friendship that begins in the Warsaw Ghetto. The winners will be honored in a virtual ceremony in April. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, January the 20th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud study. At 7.30, Ellie Kohanim speaks with former Israeli Knesset member and author Anat Wilf about her book, The War of Return. At 8, Jonathan Tobin speaks with historian and author Gil Troy about anti-Semitism, critical race theory, and other topics. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with director of the Jewish Community Center in Budapest, Zuzsa Fritz. On L'Chaim, at 10, a panel discussion on how to be a staunch Zionist and hold progressive social values. And coming up next, I speak with Rabbi Andrew Paley, who leads Temple Shalom in Dallas. Paley, a good friend of Rabbi Charlie Citroen Walker, was called to be on hand for support during the hostage crisis in Colleyville. He talks about that day and being able to hug his friend upon his release. 
And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 20th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.